Welcome. In this lecture, we are going to understand a very important concept, four quadrant operation. Now, what is four quadrant? As we know from our basic mathematics that in an xy axis, this is quadrant 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. So, whenever we are taking y axis as v and x axis as i, so similarly, this is minus i and this is minus v. Now, if you try to analyze the operation of machine drives, then this four quadrant operation is very important. Now, if we try to correlate a simple DC series model with this four quadrant operation, so this is the supply voltage V, this will be the current IAC, or you can say IARA, or you can say IA. So, if our supply voltage polarity is this is plus and this is minus, so we will find the voltage across this motor drive has the polarity this is plus and this is minus and the current flowing that is IAC through these drives is in the clockwise direction so the current is entering at the plus terminal of the motor and coming out from the negative terminal of the motor so the clockwise direction of current flow will be considered as positive so whenever we are having this upside polarity of the motor suppose we are giving the name of this terminal as a and this is b and the polarity or the voltage across a is va and across b is vb so if current is passing from a to b and this polarity where va is greater than vb is considered as positive polarity so when i is clockwise so positive and va minus vb is positive so we are getting our motor is operating at the first quadrant because at this quadrant the value of the v is positive and value of i is also positive clear now let's not mix up this v with the supply v let's give the name of this v as v supply okay this particular v is the v across the motor because we are dealing with the motor characteristics the supply voltage v is always constant irrespective of the situation of the motor because this is a supply so we are not thinking about this voltage supply we are considering about the voltage across this motor drive clear now suppose if this motor is suddenly starts to work like a generator okay as we are providing a mechanical energy at its shaft so whenever it has become a generator then obviously the polarity or the direction of the current will be reverse that means during motor it was drawing current from the supply and whenever it is working as a generator then it is supplying current to the source so the direction of the current is now anti-clockwise so as per our convention clockwise current is positive so anti-clockwise current is negative but your polarity of voltage has not changed see this is plus this is minus the current always comes from the positive terminal of any generator so polarity has not changed so what we have found that for this particular type of operation your voltage is positive and your current is negative which quadrant serves this operation this is the quadrant number two where the voltage is positive and current is negative so 
now this drive will operate at this quadrant so we can say as the current direction was positive at this quadrant one so this is forward motoring and here we are getting current from the generator and the direction of the current is reversed or anti-clockwise so this is called reverse generating mode so what you have understood that the direction of the current is signifying whether the operation is in forward mode or in reverse mode clear so to understand the mode of this various types of operation in machine drives we have to understand the four quadrant operation now suppose we are feeding a motor with a semi converted drive what is semi converted here two of the switches will be control switch that is thyristor or any other control switch and two of the switches will be uncontrolled that is diode so whenever we are having this kind of converter that is semi converter or half controlled converter for this type of case the converter operates only at the first quadrant that means voltage and current is positive so whenever you are asked a semi converter or half control converter operates in which quadrant your simple answer will be first quadrant now your question will be why it can't operate in other quadrants because here you have two uncontrolled switches that is diode 1 and diode 2 which will not allow you to reverse the direction of the current or make this particular machine as a generator clear now next is a full converter where I am connecting a DC motor here the switches are control switches so as I have discussed earlier if your current is coming from the source to this motor drive then it will operate at first quadrant then it will be a forward motoring and if the current is going out from this drive then it will then operate at quadrant number four that is forward generating now again your question will be why it is forward generating because all the switches are controlled here for a generating operation you need to have your firing angle alpha should be greater than 90 degree whenever you are doing this you can operate this converter as an inverter mode so your full converter can operate at quadrant number one and quadrant number four so it is a device of two quadrant operation clear now here we are having a dual converter in dual converter two separate converters are connected this is converter 1 this is converter 2 so when one converter or converter 1 is operating as rectifier mode converter 2 can operate as inverter mode and this is interchangeable or vice versa that means converter 1 when operates as inverter mode converter 2 operates as rectifier mode so as we are having all the switches here are controlled switches so each converter can perform two quadrant operation why we have already explained it in this full converter concept so this converter 1 and converter 2 are nothing but two separate full converters so each of them can operate 
two quadrant operation and one thing we have to notice here the thyristor at converter 1 and thyristor at converter 2 are anti parallel to each other so these two separate converter are not working at the same quadrant so if converter 1 can operate at quadrant 1 and 4 converter 2 operates at quadrant 2 and 4 so a dual converter is a four quadrant converter where you can perform forward motoring forward generating reverse generating and reverse motoring clear so here i have explained all the converter operation and then the quadrant significance now let me give you a memory tip regarding the confusion at which quadrant it is motoring and which quadrant it is generating as well as what is the reverse and what is forward. So I am giving you an easy tip to memorize all these things very easily. First for forward or reverse just consider the current. If your current is positive then it is a forward operation and similarly if your current is negative then it's a reverse operation see in quadrant 1 and 4 current is positive so this is forward operation and in quadrant 3 and 2 current is negative so it is reverse operation clear so one problem is solved next is motoring and generating okay so we know power is equal to voltage into current clear so for quadrant 1 your power is equal to voltage and current both are positive so plus vi similarly for quadrant 2 voltage is positive but current is reverse so it is minus vi similarly for quadrant 3 and 4 so see whenever your vi is positive for quadrant 1 and quadrant 3 it's motoring and whenever your power is negative for quadrant 4 and quadrant 2 it is generating so i think all your confusion will be cleared if you apply this simple hack in order to memorize this entire four quadrant phenomenon and after this lecture it is quite clear for you and at the end, if you want to buy any of our electrical engineering courses to learn various electrical engineering subjects in detail, then link is given in the description box below. You can simply click on the link and purchase our courses. Thank you.